let's go on a tour. I have recently just moved from an apartment into a house, not mine, just my friends, and I've set up my office and I would love to show you what it looks like. Okay, let's shaky cam our way through this little office tour. It is by the graciousness of my dear friend who allowed me to use this extra room as my office space. I did used to have a 10 by 10 apartment bedroom that doubled as my, you know, my bed, my workout space, my office, my studio. And I am so grateful that I get to expand in a little bit of this space. My situation is pretty unique. So this is how I've kind of set it up so I can do work for my day job and and also for YouTube and content creation. You can see that of course I gotta have room for some plants and I actually had to like foster out some plants when I moved into my last apartment so I have to bring those back in and find new places for them so my friend doesn't have to keep holding on to them. But I love having these open shelves for things that are in kind of like a medium access that are pretty to display. So you can see that my planners are kind of on display here. These are the ones that are like second ranking, second tier that I can reach for here, including my half letter, cloth and paper, my most recent couple of bullet journals and my class teaching notebook. I take notes during class and I keep that most recent one right here. This is my orchid. I call her my divorce orchid because I got her when I was going through that process back in fall of 2016 and she has lived ever since. Um, I have learned a lot about my own journey by having this plant. So I'm so glad she's still alive and kicking. And then a couple of different choice books down here. I want to keep this as clutter free as possible. But of course, if there's anything I want to hide, I'm just going to pop it in here. <laughs> to the right is my trusty treadmill. I actually really do like having this because especially if I want to take calls outside can be really really hot or really really cold. I live in Minnesota so having a phone call down on my treadmill is really helpful and sometimes I can pop my iPad onto the shelf here and I can walk while watching at the same time. Over here is where you can see my IKEA collection. I have this drawer down here with a couple different tech things like microphones and headphones and then I have this printer and it's a pigment printer so I can't do some of the cool foiling things that everybody loves to do but I'm intending to use this as a way to create some high quality prints of my art that is at a lower price point. So if you don't follow me on Instagram. Uh, one you should at Pretty Prints and Paper and I do some other uh, art mediums like alcohol ink and watercolor that I want to turn into some prints so someday stay tuned. And then on the right hand side are all of my pens and some other painting materials. So I have learned in my in my journey that just get just invest in the matching stuff if you can and or you just invest in one line that is kind of timeless. So that's what I did with these Kugis bins from IKEA here. I love IKEA. We have one, maybe it's a half hour away from where I live. And choosing this line, they are modular boxes that stack on top of each other pretty evenly. And so you can stack like two of these small ones on top of, you know, either of these. And then you can stack this right on top of this. So it's a really nice consistent line that you can kind of build on as you go. I'm hoping that I don't need any more than this. And I'm going to aim through like the 365 challenge and other you know low spend challenges just to keep it within the storage that I have. So um, the clear boxes are just acrylic organizers for makeup uh, from Amazon and I like these to be clear so that I can quickly see which ones have which pens in them. I'm kind of an out of sight out of mind person so I like that for like the clutter but I want to be able to see the pens. And then down at the bottom I've got file uh, magazine holders for books and sketchbooks and extra paper and you can see I only have one of these Michaels washi bins. Just one and even that just two rows. I don't have any more than that because I'm honest with myself and know that I will not use that much washi. So that is my journey. <laughs> And I'm still on that journey to like, you know, step away from colored pens because let's be honest, I only use black.
gotta, gotta stop telling myself that I'll use all the other rainbow colors. So this is where a lot of my work happens on this Ikea crank desk. And I recently kind of outfitted my work from home station. So there's a lot going on here. There's the ring light so that I can stay, you know, fresh faced on Zoom. I've got this overhead mount so that I can mount this camera on there. And then I've got this arm that attaches to the table, which is for my phone for free hand art videos and stuff like that. And then, of course, we continue on with the clear organizers. I think this is from the container store and they stack on top of each other for things that I need more regularly. Um, I was on the search for a monitor that had the webcam and the microphone built in. Turns out that that's not that many. So um, there's just a couple and this is the Dell, a lot of numbers that I can't remember. So if you want to know, let me know. I'll respond to you in the comments. Okay, so I've got this beautiful gray wall behind here. It was this really gross poop brown in here. I think they were trying to go for some neutral desert color and it just wasn't it. So the first thing I did was paint this shit grayish. So this was the color grayish and I just am going to be putting some art behind here, but I'm trying to slow down and take time to decide what I want back there. I've got some stuff piled up right there to, uh, you know, just waiting in the wings for me to decide. And then this is the closet, obviously meant for clothing, but instead I've got canvas and Rascog carts in here. <laughs> I've got one that's got my alcohol ink stuff on it with like the primer and the paints and uh, inks and stuff like that. And then on the left hand side is more like my planner stuff where I've got binders of stickers and anything that has paper crafting related tools in it goes in there. So a couple of the things that I kept in mind as I was kind of reorganizing and designing this space was that I wanted things to feel open and airy. I know that in, in small spaces I can get really overwhelmed, especially by clutter, and I wanted to have a light color on the walls so that things felt open, and then a lot of the accents have been black and then white so that I can feel like I can breathe. I really underestimated the um, impact that my last space and the clutter uh, really had on my mental health, and so being able to spread out like this has made a huge difference. And I mean, I get to like sleep in a different room than where I work, which is so nice. <laughs> so wanting to keep things as open as possible. And then the next thing is knowing that as I was unpacking, I was purging at the same time. If there was anything that I really was like, why did I even move this over here? I put it away uh, in a donation pile or in a a uh, pile that I could give to the Buy Nothing group in my area. If you don't know what that is, check out Facebook and see if there's a Buy Nothing group for your neighborhood. It's really a great place for you to like um, say this is of no use for me anymore. Can it be of use to somebody else? And then people will say like, oh, I could use it. And then you pass it on and it feels really nice. But being able to do the combination of having less shit to put away it has been really helpful in being able to feel like a lot of things have their own spaces and then I can kind of more easily make decisions about where stuff goes without feeling overwhelmed. And then of course I wanted to make sure that I had space for displaying my own art and so leaving some of the walls open I'm going to fill that in soon with some art that I've bought and some art that I've made. And, the, and of course wanting to have some space for plants because like many millennials, it is the only living thing that I can afford to take care of right now. So making some space for those babies to return home and you know, create some of that uh, breathing, living touch in this space. I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing a little peek of it. It is usually not even this tidy, but I do enjoy that there is kind of a, a space or a home for most things that are in here. Um, again, this is not everybody's situation and I'm just really, really lucky and so, so appreciative of being able to have this space. I actually haven't been able to do that much art in here yet because it's been so chaotic, but I'm hoping that I can just wind down and, and start to do more watercolor and alcohol ink again again now that you know the moving process is mostly over for both spaces work and home so if there's anything that you want to know let me know in the comments or maybe there's a, an ingenious trick that you've learned to store your stuff I would love to know or you know tips on what to purge 
let me know that too. Um, if you liked this, go ahead and like, thumbs up, subscribe, share, whatever. I just hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you in my next video or, you know, pop over to see some of my other ones. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.